Hi, my name's Faith Wilson of the Faith Wilson Group, and I'm here today to talk about the west side, the overall picture, and then we're going to delve into one of the specific neighborhoods, and this month we're going to talk about Kitsilano, a little bit about what that neighborhood is all about, and briefly some statistics. So let's look at the overall west side picture. Detached, there were 84 sales in August, down actually from 123 in 2013, and that signifies a 32% decline. Sales for August were off considerably from the previous months, July 130, June 137, May 193, and April 178. Total value of sales for August is $243,830,979. There were 208 new listings added, and with 84 sales, the sales to new listing ratio is 40%, which indicates a balanced market. There was a spike in days on market in the fourth quarter of 2013, which one may consider not that unusual due to holiday festivities and weather, which trended down at the start of the year and gradually rose to middle ground basically. The median days on the market is still up 20% to 37 compared to 31 last year. The attached market is an interesting one actually as uh, depending on the demographic you could be working with a downsizer coming from a home going into a townhome or a half duplex or someone moving up in the market from a condominium for example. So you kind of catch a number of demographics. There were 26 attached property sales in August compared to 49 in 2013. That's a 47% drop in activity for this month. And interesting is when you look at previous months, just as in the detached market, August was quieter with July at 53, then June at 44, May at 51, and April at 48. In August, 57 new attached listings were added and the sales to new listing ratio is 46, which is the mid range of a balanced market. The median days on the market is 26, which is down about 53% from August 2013, and it posted 49 unit sales days on the market trended upward from the second quarter. Condominiums, well, there's lots of sales in the condo market on the west side, 225 in total, although down from last year in August at 333. There were 538 new listings added and the sales to new listing ratio is 42%, a balanced market. Once again, overall unit sales trended down from August to July at 368, June 358, May 444 and April 403. Balanced markets are great as they give the general public an opportunity to actually view properties and it also allows them to perform some due diligence and for the seller they actually get to have their property on the market for a while and make sure that it, the general public actually gets to see it. The median days on the market are up marginally from 28 in August to 31 in August of this year and the median days through the past year have stayed relatively static with a very slight bump up in the fourth quarter of 2013. Now, as promised, we're going to focus on one of the specific neighborhoods, and we thought we'd start with Kitsilano this month. So here's a little bit about this really fabulous Kitsilano neighborhood. It's not as ethnically diverse as other Vancouver neighborhoods. Kitsilano is culturally distinct, going back to a storied past of 1960s counterculture, and there were a lot of hippies that were coming from all, all of North America and heading into Kits. In that time, Kits was the birthplace of Greenpeace and Canada's Green Party, which is interesting. And, you know, since then, yuppies have uh, replaced hippies, and now younger professionals, older couples, students, fitness fanatics, they're all part of this, you know, famous Kits culture, so to speak. Today, it's home to Lululemon head office, and it's also one of the city's organic food hubs and hosts restaurants and retail along West 4th Ave and Broadway. The West Coast lifestyle is everything if you live in Vancouver's kits. It's a city hotspot for beautiful beaches, casual boutiques, eclectic restaurants, cappuccino, or hot yoga. Uh, Forbes Traveler magazine actually rated Kitts Beach as one of the 10 sexiest beaches in North America. The diversity of housing in Kitsilano is a major contributor to the ambiance of this Vancouver West Side neighborhood. The bulk of Kits residences are apartments, 86.1%, which works out to nearly 12,000 households. Single detached are 6.9% of the market and semi detached is 4.9%. It is a pleasant mix of California bungalows, heritage homes, apartments and low rise condo buildings, townhomes and duplexes. The housing is as diverse as the people actually who inhabit them. Kitsilano is an easy commute to downtown by car, bicycle or bus 
And for a motorist, it's possible to park your car on a Friday after work and not use it again till Monday morning if you wish. And you still can manage to get a lot of errands done. Everything really is here in the Kitts neighborhood. So if you're looking for a really laid back, uh, outdoor kind of lifestyle and convenience, uh, you can't get anything better than the Kitts neighborhood. 90% of Kitts residents speak English at home, followed by German, Greek, Mandarin, Cantonese and Spanish. 40.9% of Kitts residents are single, 32.6% are married, and 13.5% are living common law. And what are the price points like in Kitts? I'm just going to talk about detached for today. And the average sold price in the second quarter was $2,110,557 and $2,388,000 for the median price. And the benchmark was $1,681,200. I'm a big fan of the HPI or the Home Pricing Index as it's not skewed by outliers such as extremely high or extremely low sales prices. The HPI year over year rose 13.66% for a single family detached home. I hope you you joined our monthly market update and some information about kits that maybe you didn't know. Next month we will be talking about uh, what's gone on in this last quarter so I'm sure we'll be able to pull out some great statistics out of that and perhaps see some trends that are going on and don't forget to go check out our website because we have lots and lots of great information on there and new actually if you go to our neighborhood profiles we have great statistical information I touched on it a little bit in this video here. If you are interested in getting the this specific kind of information, just give me a call. We'd be happy to help you. We can send you some information if you like or we can get together over a coffee. And we'll see you next month.